Let's see what else Walsh has to say here. Drawing comparisons of contemporary Israeli policy to that he claims of Jews killing Jesus or blood libel to characterize Israel or Israelis. Drawing comparisons of contemporary Israeli policy to that of the Nazis. Holding Jews collectively responsible for actions of the state of Israel. Now, there are a number of very serious problems Which here. The first is, is that most of these examples of anti-Semitism, statements that the bill would legally classify as hate speech against Jews, are actually criticisms of the Israeli government. And whether you think the criticism, criticisms are fair or not, whether you think they're true or not, it should go without saying that American citizens have the right in any and all contexts to criticize foreign governments in whatever way and using whatever language they want. You should be able to say anything you want about a foreign government, including it's evil, it's terrible, it should exist. Mm -hmm. It should be wiped off the face of the earth. Now, I'm not saying it's right to say that, but of course you should have the right, have, have the right to say that about a foreign government as an American citizen. Are you kidding me? We have the right to criticize foreign government. We have the right to criticize our own government. So we must certainly then have the right to criticize the governments of other nations. Now, keep in mind, it's not and like to his point there. With regard to speech that is disallowed by the Constitution, the calling of some sort of violence on a people group, when that when that is within the United States, yes, illegal. He's not wrong, though, when he says we should be able to essentially say whatever we want about a foreign government because they are not protected under the umbrella of the United States. Um, and again, like, while it's not right to go call for the death of entire people groups, and while it's not right to call for the downfall of entire governments that are not our own, people do have the right to say that. That is that is the whole idea of your freedom of speech protected now you may still incur some sort of um discipline for saying something like that you know maybe maybe the discipline inside your life for that is suddenly you have no friends maybe your boss here just say something crazy like that and exactly. goes you know, that's what? what i don't get i don't it's want you working for me yeah it's literally like the it's the it's literally let the drunken fool say whatever he wants no matter how disgusting it is because Everyone will then go, well, there's that drunken idiot. I'm not going to spend my time with him and, yes! and leave, you know, yep. sort of thing. Yep. And, and then it's until the drunken idiot starts to get ha haphazard, then, you know, then you need to, you know, break his knees or something like that because he's starting to get physical or something. Dude, sort of thing. real quick, Kathleen Brown, you are absolutely 100% right. We have existing laws that address mm -hmm. racism. We need to stop virtue signaling with all these new laws. It's simply more censorship dependent on whoever perceives it as racism. That's exactly right. The issue that we're having right now on campuses with people being violent is the same kind of issue that we had during the summer of love when we saw people kicking in storefronts and beating people to death. A body count of over 30 that was built up by the protesters for that son of a bitch, George Floyd. There you go, folks. I said it. Um, mm -hmm. We had the law not enforced. We had we have on campuses right now people that are doing violence speaking literal violence calling for violence not just on the jews but on america itself now those people should be locked up because they are violating the law but because we're not enforcing the law especially not in blue states because we're not enforcing the law they now are trying to contrive this to further a definition and then building off of that make your speech the next part to go away because once if, if if that's codified into actual law that takes away your first amendment rights okay and then the next step from that is more rights taken away and more and more and more and more and more this is the, the opening of a door to draconian measures that we don't want it's exactly like what they did when you know 9 11 happened Remember when you could just go into an airport and hardly worry about anything? And now, and now that you have all of this stuff, like all this extra security and stuff like that, that they said that they would return back to normal once it was taken care of. It never returned back to normal. You, you no. know, and part of, you know, I was kind of thinking about like this sort of stuff too, like part of the, I guess you could say the devil's advocate and stuff. Like part of me, like, was, I remember thinking way back in the day, it's like, 
what what exact it's it, and it ties in with this of like you're you're throwing in an addition these additional laws because to, to make sure that it's extra taken care of or, or whatever it's like what like, when you murder someone because you out of a fit of rage or if you murder someone because you know they're of this ethnicity or you murder someone because it is in the end it's murder like wh why is it that when doing this type of murder is bad but this one it's extra extra bad mm -hmm. you know sort of thing and it's like yeah a, you know, a crime again of... the more you add on to the extremities the more people are going to respond in ex in extreme uh you know on the opposite of extreme as well and everything is just gonna just like just constantly just keep spiraling downward yeah you're absolutely right there tom l it is the next step towards a social credit score because if we're keeping tabs on people's speech then that revelation you, currency oh no dude if, if we're keeping tabs on people on people's speech then you may very well have a scenario like in season four of black mirror where you're having to walk around with your phone and rate people based on your interactions with them and if you have a star rating that falls below a certain level you might not even be able to go into a starbucks and get a cup of coffee you know like like that like we see that kind of that kind of crap right now playing out in the ccp and it's total insanity. Well, look um, at how look how how much they're trying to push biometrics. Oh my facial, gosh, facial scans and and uh, thumbprints and stuff like that. It's it's ugh. yep yeah no it's it's a it's a dark dark place and like again, we don't want this, and we know that that is that that is going to happen, but it doesn't mean that we have to go into that night, willfully. Mm -hmm. like, you know, to, to you know, speak to, um, God, the son of Jesus Christ saves. It's all going to happen. Can't stop it. Be system. Yes. Does not mean that we have to go willingly into and that. That's dark the night. funny thing too. Cause it's scripture in the end, no matter like with all this stuff, Israel is a part of it of, uh, in revelation. Yeah. And like, See, that's, and, and this whole thing about the, the example of saying that the Jews killed Jesus and stuff like that. Well, if we want to get technical about everything, the world killed Jesus. Satan killed Jesus because he's the ruler of this world and he wanted to be like God. The Jews killed him by handing him over to the Roman soldiers. The Romans physically killed him because they're the ones that nailed him. And we killed him because we were the people that not only said we wanted Barabbas, but we stood by and watched it. Yep. Yeah, you know, like 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 Trust Missler would say, um, if you want to blame somebody for Jesus being up on that cross, blame me. I put those nails in his hands and feet. My sin kept him there. And it, like at any time, Jesus could have said, you know what? Screw this. I'm out. I'm done. Goodbye, everybody. But it was his love for you and I that kept him up there on that cross. Yep. You didn't um, need the the nails and stuff. No, the nails, you know, they weren't keeping him up there.